Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to explain design and simulation of an RC phase shift oscillator in MATLAB. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. This is the circuit diagram of an RC phase shift oscillator. So, uh, one of the most important criteria for simulating this is that uh, we have to get phase shift at the output terminals to be equal to 180 degree and phase shift with the feedback terminals to be equal to 180 degree each. Uh, uh, leg of C, R, C and R elements will produce 60 degree phase shift. So total phase shift around the loop should be equal to 360 degree. Uh, that will satisfy the Barkerson criteria. In oscillators, what happens is that uh, it automatically generates uh, the noise signal that is present in the system will be accepted as the input and it automatically uh, produces the phase shift and amplifies the noise signal and produces the output accordingly. But with respect to MATLAB, we need to provide some amount of input for the simulation to start. So uh, we can use a variable voltage source or we can use a constant voltage source. However, the simulation is concerned, we'll be focusing on the output voltage waveform, uh, whether it's phase shifting and we'll be checking if there is phase shift over here. So this is our objective. Uh, but in MATLAB, it, uh, you have to generate noise in some or the other way because uh, with respect to op-amp circuit, it is not uh, generating noise on its own. As a result, we will not be able to simulate this without giving a supply to the terminal. Uh, so let us look into the design procedure in the first place. We are assuming IV max to be equal to 50 nanoamperes and I1 to be equal to 100 in times IV max that is 50 microamperes and VCC is 12 volt. At the first place we need to find the value of RF and RF value is given by V out sat by uh, I1. So substituting this value V out sat is given by VCC minus 1 that is 12 minus 1 11. So 220 kilo ohm. Consequently to find the values of R and C uh, at the first place we will be finding R1 is equal to RF by 29 because the uh, open loop gain A uh, that is uh, product of A beta should be uh, if A uh, in general the the value of A should be greater than uh, 29, so greater than or equal to 29. That's the reason why we have this formula. Uh, so substitute the values, you'll be getting 7.5 kilo ohm. That is standard values that we have considered. And R is equal to R1 by 10, that is equal to 750 kilo ohm. And C is equal to 1 by 2 pi root R in root 6 into FR. So you'll be getting 0.867 microfarad. So these are the values that we'll be considering in our simulation. And uh, as I told you, we have to uh, give supply to the op-amp for initially for the circuit to turn on and then oscillations will be continuously produced. But uh, there isn't a feature. Uh, you can program it such that it the supply turns off at some point of time. But what I will be doing is I'll be using a sinusoidal voltage source which continuously operates throughout the entire duration. Only uh, main uh, aspect is that we have to check if it is producing 180 degree phase shift here, 180 degree phase shift here. That is our uh, main objective with respect to the simulation is concerned. Alright, let's go to MATLAB and start our simulation. Alright, here we are in MATLAB. So, click on Simulink Library Browser. At the first place, we need to uh, uh, search for a solver configuration block. This is one of the most important blocks for the simulation to take place. Without this block, you will not uh, get the simulation run because there will be some amount of error that it throws. So, once it's uh, done, uh, you will have to uh, search for a voltage sensor. So, uh, search for a voltage sensor and it will be available right at the top. Add that block as well. We need an operational amplifier which is basically the heart of our circuit. So search for op amp and add that block as well. We also need a resistor and a capacitor blocks individually. So search for resistor, choose the ones that are there in blue uh, because these are the ones uh, that are used for op amp and uh, signal processing and DSP applications. We need an AC voltage source uh, just for it to turn uh, the like in order to energize the op amp because it does not has noise internally in the circuit as a result we'll be doing that. And once uh, that is also added, we will be requiring uh, a capacitor so search for capacitor and add that block. Once this is also added, um, we will be uh, requiring a simulink converter. So search for simulink converter and that will be available over here. Add that block as well. Uh, we also require a scope in order to see how the waveform looks like. So search for scope and you will be getting it right at the top. So uh, we also need uh, electrical reference which is basically the ground for our circuit. Search for ground, choose the ones that are there in blue. So once this is done, 
uh, we'll be placing them in respective positions so that uh, we can get started off with our circuit connections according to the circuit diagram so op amp should be placed here and uh, solver configuration block can generally be placed here at this point so uh, over here uh, first step if you carefully observe it is plus and minus we'll be rotating and flipping the block such that it is convenient for us uh, so that we get minus and plus we need a resistive uh, branch here so uh, what is the value of a resistor uh, the resistance value that we are choosing at this point uh, that is with respect to r1 isn't it according to our circuit so we are choosing the value of r1 to be equal to 7.5 kilo ohm so enter the value of uh, 7.5 and use the drop down and select kilo ohm over here at this block in this particular fashion and once this is done we'll be using a feedback resistor uh, with respect to the inverting terminal so double click on the inverting terminal and uh, we will be uh, getting the inverting terminal uh, value to be equal to 220 into 10 power 3 that is a uh, kilo ohm so click on ok once this is done uh, we'll be enclosing the circuit in this particular fashion and uh, we will be connecting uh, an electrical reference at this point which is basically the ground of our circuit and uh, we will be requiring uh, uh, three uh, RNC elements uh, in the feedback path so we will be rotating this uh, by using control R and uh, we'll be connecting it in this particular fashion the value of the feedback element is 750 ohms so enter 750 use the drop down and select it to be in ohms and click on ok once this is done uh, double click on the capacitor and the value of capacitance that we are choosing is 0 0.867 micro henry 0.867 we'll enter that and use the drop down and enter the value of micro henry click on ok and once this is done control c and then control v over here and uh, we'll be uh, connecting this in this particular fashion again control c and control v we'll be connecting it uh, over here in this particular fashion once that is done we can connect all the resistors that are common and we need an electrical reference basically the ground and we'll be connecting in this particular fashion and uh, the the capacitor will be given to the feedback path in this point and uh, we will be uh, connecting an ac source as i already mentioned uh, several times in this video uh, usually oscillators does not require any supply uh, but uh, since there is no noise generated in the circuit nor uh, the MATLAB has a functionality where it can take noise as a random signal within the circuit and uh, produce the output so we are uh, pushing towards a voltage source just to see the phase shift that is produced so we need an voltage source in that case I even tried for searching for some noise generators in MATLAB but uh, I, I don't see it compatible with these type of circuits and that's the reason why I'm not used that so simulink converter is basically required in order to uh, these voltage sensors are physical quantities and they need to be converted in a form that is suitable for MATLAB as a result we'll be using that and once this is done we need another voltage sensor at the output terminals as well at this point and uh, we'll be connecting it uh, between this point and ground say any ground in this matter uh, so we need another simulink converter so we'll be copy pasting this that is control C and control V over here and we'll be connecting this in this particular fashion and the output is given at this point so supply is given the output is given at this point and uh, consequently this should be uh, returned at this point isn't it uh, the feedback element so we'll be connecting it in this particular fashion and uh, the voltage source will be connected here and uh, the voltage measurement pro that is a voltage sensor is connected in this particular fashion so solver configuration block can be connected in any particular portion of the circuit just such that it should be touching our circuit that is one of the most important uh, so we need to uh, enter the voltage as well uh, we can enter the entering the supply voltage uh, let us say the voltage is 5 volt just to see the voltage and let us choose a frequency of 1000 Hertz uh, now we need to set the simulation time in milliseconds uh, so I've set it to be equal to 2 milliseconds so be very careful with this if you're giving it in seconds then uh, you will not be getting the output very careful with respect to the step so click on run and uh, it's compiling now we'll be double clicking on the scope in order to see the nature of waveforms that we are getting so uh, if you carefully observe we have used only voltage sensors at this point and this point let us use another voltage sensor over here so that uh, we'll be able to see uh, so we will be connecting uh, we need a simulink converter block so con control c control v we'll be connecting it in this particular fashion and we'll be giving it to the scope so once this is done we'll be clicking on run and we'll be checking uh, the output waveform uh, so we'll be double clicking on the scope in order to see the waveform 
so two signals are overlapped here in order to see them properly use this option so over here uh, in order to properly see them we can use this function where uh, the waveforms uh, are clearly uh, in, like we can see it properly in this particular way and uh, we'll be doing the same with respect to this as well so if you see this is our supply we are getting sinusoidal 180 degree phase shift at the output terminals because of the inverting amplifier again at the feedback path 180 degree phase shift due to the RC network so we are getting uh, the exact nature of waveform that we want and this justifies that RC phase shift oscillator is providing 360 degree phase shift around the closed loop path uh, overall phase shift around the circuit is 360 degree so this is how we will be simulating RC phase shift oscillator. I hope uh, you have understood the concept of simulating it in MATLAB. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Please do keep supporting.